Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and in this video, we're going to talk about the difference between the new General Curriculum 178 exam for History and Language Arts and the old multi-subject exam, the 03, involving History, Language Arts, and Science. Let's take a look. Let's go. In order to understand the new general curriculum multi-subject test, this is the, the 178 involving history and language arts. To understand this test, we got to quickly go back and look at that old exam, the MTEL 03. This previous version of the general curriculum had two subtests. The first one was the multi-subject. The second one was a math subtest. The multi-subject exam had a history, a science, and an ELA component each worth about 30% of the exam. And there was one essay worth 10%. So if we just look at that general curriculum multi-subject test, there was a history section, a science and a language arts section. They were weighted about the same, 30%. And there was an essay that was 10%. If you add all these up, you're gonna get all the weight, 100% of the test, right? When we look at this new structure for the new general curriculum, history and social science and, and ELA section of the exam, we're gonna see some things that are the same. Like for example, here, there still is one essay. That's 10% of the exam. And the LA section is still 30% of the multiple choice, about the same amount of questions, 20 questions. Okay, so those things appear the same. They're, they're not actually the same because they got a, you have a whole new uh, set of areas that they're testing here. And the essay is completely different. But, but on the surface, they appear the same. I wanna look at the history now. What has happened to the history? Well, you're going to notice something with the numbers. Um, the old test had uh, only 55 questions, and this test has 60 questions. So first, there's more questions floating around. And second, you're going to notice that the history is 60% of the test now. So it's not equal. It's not like the, it's 50% 50, 50 ELA and 50% history. That would have been a much more balanced exam, right? It would have been saying, hey, History is equal to language arts, but it's not that at all. Basically, what they've done in this new test is they've allowed history to swallow, <laughs> eat up the science section. So what am I saying? They've added a little bit more questions, and they're, and they're basically allowing history to gobble up the science portion of the exam. ELA will still be 30%. There'll still be an essay that's 10%. And basically, now there's going to be double, over double the amount of history questions. And team, when I say there's double the content, I mean double the content. J just look at some of these ideas on the page for just the first objective on ancient civilizations. Look at all these terms. A lot of these ideas were non-existent in the previous exam. And to be honest with you, most of these ideas you'll never see on your test. But, but the fact that you have to study them, it's going to take up a lot of your time. So to review, the new General Curriculum 178, it takes history, it takes language arts, it puts them into one test. But remember, you're gonna have twice as many history questions. You're moving from 18 history questions to 40. So that means you're gonna have over double the content in history. ELA is gonna be about the same. You're still gonna have one essay, but it's a totally different structure than the previous essays. Now here's the good news. I know that it's more history, but you know what? Now you don't have to worry about science. Isn't that great? I mean, now it is more history, but you don't have to worry about science. And there was a lot of science. So if you're thinking like, you know, this is going to be harder, I don't think it's going to be that much harder. Now you only have to juggle two balls, right? Before you had to juggle three balls. Now it's just two things. And it's two things where you go into this idea deeper. So when you look at it from that perspective, some teachers might find this more manageable than past exams. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to find out more information about Go Academy or maybe check out a Go Academy class, you can go to goacademy.com at www.gohacademy.com. You'll see all our classes, all the test prep classes for teachers. You should check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Everyone have a wonderful day and take care. Bye, team.